and this Viper Senada electric bicycle from Senada Bikes. And if you like it, check link in description for extra discount code. Also, the discount should uh, work on all the bicycles they offer. And uh, we're gonna go right now for the speed test and hill test to see how fast it can go with me on top of it. And also to see if it can climb on the steep hill with the throttle only. Let me show you how the fork works. And it's only 60 millimeter travel, which is pretty good actually. The rear four bar linkage suspension works pretty well. It's by brand HLT100, 1200 pounds, which uh, does a great job and it should be really nice for off-road riding as well. The frame it looks good, it's not as heavy, only 72 pounds. I think it's great weight with the battery. All right, so now I'm gonna go for speed test to see how fast the bike perform on flat surface with uh, throttle only and pedal assist as well. Um, also, I'll take it for uphill test to see how the bike can perform on throttle only. And I put about 15 on the front tire PSI and 17 on the rear. The maximum is only 20 PSI on these tires. So always check the tires before pump the air in because sometimes they have 30, sometimes they have 20, or sometimes they have 70. Depend on the tires. All right. So now I'm gonna go for the speed test right over here and see how fast. So 14 on GPS, 14. So I'll go with GPS. It's about 20 on GPS right now. 22, 23, 24. Very fast acceleration. 25, 26. 27 on GPS, 28, 29, 30, and uh, 30 on uh, display, 31 on display, 31 on GPS. And then I'll stop here. So actually, wow, I saw that I was gonna hit only 30 on this, actually even less, because it says uh, without load only like 34 miles per hour without load and I'm 215 pounds and I made 31 on the short distance which is pretty amazing for this type of price range bicycle and it's very smooth actually the speed does not really feels good uh, so it feels like you don't ride that fast because the bicycle set up pretty well actually um, I'm gonna go another speed test right now with pedal assist to see how fast I'll go also I notice uh, so I'm gonna switch uh, to the, let's see, to level G number seven and go with a uh, pedal assist. Go with pedal assist. Let's see, to number seven and go. Let's see how fast it can accelerate. So it's a uh, 16, 21. 24, 26, 29, 31, 32. Uh, wow, I think it's one of the fastest bike I tested recently. 33 miles on pedal assist and I didn't want to go faster because the stop sign but if you have a more distance to travel, I think you can go 34 miles an hour. Very impressive speed. If you want fast bike for off-road or on-road, Viper probably the right bike for you. So let's go for another test to see how the brakes works. It's mechanical brakes. They yeah, they don't squeak, but usually mechanical brakes are not as strong, so you have to press very hard to stop it. And let's see how far, I'll go about 20 miles an hour, and then I'll break. Actually, it's a 22, and then I'll break over here. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Surprisingly, it's locking the rear wheel, so which is good and see it's recording so um, 
the brakes actually not bad they're very quiet tested many bikes usually mechanical brakes or recently many brakes are squeaking i like when they squeak mostly when you don't have horn but this bike comes with horn very loud and the brakes are not squeaking so it's wow it's good the shock works pretty good as well so you should get really nice off-road ride and most likely i'll take it off-road later on when it's not as hot it's about 95 degree right now outside so i need to go early morning or evenings and i want to do another test to see how easy to pedal the bike because what if you don't have any more power most people asking so right now i'm on gear number four pedaling the bike with no power assist no power at all zero as you can see pedal assist zero about eight months now i can turn to three it's still nice pedaling so this bike pretty light 72 pounds i think it's pretty light for this type of size bike for this power for the large battery you can pedal it with no problem on the flat road and go about 8 to 10 miles an hour that's a normal speed for beach cruising 9 to 10 miles an hour and it's very simple i mean they, you don't need to spend a lot of energy to to pedal it it's just any it's about the same as any other flat tire bike also uh, the handlebar is pretty wide 28 inch which makes it much easier to maneuver and to ride it you have a nice distribution and you got more space where you can attach the phone or whatever you want to attach to handlebar so now i'm gonna go for the turn on the power on pedal assist level one and we'll go for steep hill testing the derailleur i adjusted it works pretty nice the brakes works good i did adjustment on the brakes a little bit it's very simple if you want to check out link in description how to do it welcome to do check it out it takes only a few minutes to adjust it and it works just perfectly now another thing i noticed pedal assist attached to a throttle so it means if you are in pedal assist mode number one the bike will go on the speed number one if you pedal assist level two it will go faster as pedal assist level two and so on and for this reason i'm not actually will test how fast the pedal assist will go it looks like the number one will go about six miles an hour but it will vary on the rider weight so i, I usually don't test this performance because they change but i can say the settings is good right now i'm on level two four miles an hour which makes your ride very comfortable and good but i'm gonna turn on camera once we get closer to the hill so you can see the steep hill test and that will tell me how powerful the motor is and the motor is 1000 watt which uh, should be able to climb uphill i'm checking what display show the display show me 53.5 volt the battery it does not really show me current the mileage show me actual mileage even i don't pedal it so it's about 10 miles an hour right now it will show me time i believe since the time i turn on the bike uh, odometer only two miles right now trip one and a half and that's all but on the top you see bar so how much juice left in the battery so let's get closer to the hill and test it out so i'm getting closer to the hill um, you should be able to see now the hill actually it's pretty steep some bikes with 750 motor never made it uphill some of them made it only half hill uh, so i'm gonna stop on the stop sign as i do with all the bicycles right over here make sure the camera is rolling and then i'll use the throttle only i'll put on the pedal assist level five and go and to hopefully we'll made it uphill 
Oh, well, it's about 16 miles an hour. Full link. Um, it says 10 miles, 8 miles. Six miles an hour. Four miles. And it stopped. It's mid. And my and the camera stopped as well. So it made only half heel. You can see it. Only half heel. And I just want to show you. Um, it doesn't mean it's bad but this bike it's fast bike but uh the torque i believe it's only like 80 new meters torque so it's not really enough for 26 inches for tire to pull uphill if the tires are smaller like 20 inch it most likely will go uphill but so far it's only made half hill so now now i'm gonna try to use pedal assist and with pedal assist it's going uphill not bad i'm on the uh gear number four and you're just pulling uphill no problem at all so again you can go for uphill riding off-road most likely no problem at all you can switch to gear number three but if you use a motorcycle style bike to ride it uphill then it will not really pull you up here much it has a lot of speed for speed so uh, it's going around 33 miles with pedal assist even more probably if you lighter weight with uh, so it made it uphill very easily but again it should be fine just to go uphill on throttle only but not as steep but again this is a bicycle not motorcycle so if you want to go uphill without pedaling so you might need to get more powerful i think the saber can go uphill because it comes i believe 95 new meter torques and saber and herald they can make it uphill over here no problem but this one only i believe 80 or 85 new meters torque but again this one is very fast right out of the box i didn't do any changes in the settings at all so i'm gonna go downhill right now and test the brakes so you i will stop probably by the car so i'll stop here and the brakes actually huh, about 40 miles smell a little bit but i want to talk to you about the brakes i'm not really proud of brakes on this type of bicycle for few reasons this is a very powerful bike very fast and should have like i believe it should have a hydraulic brakes but again if you're not planning to ride that fast you should be fine but if you have a higher speed like 30 miles an hour or so it will not really lock the wheel so it will give you a longer braking point so it's uh, not like something i like uh, but again they are not squeaking the braking fine but at higher speed it will be harder to brake that's why i always recommend to have brakes which will have hydraulic with more power for this type of bicycles so i'm not sure why they don't put hydraulic on these bicycles but as uh, in jail everything works perfectly on this bike the bike can go 31 miles on throttle only on the flat flat surface which is pretty fast on throttle only out of the box 23 with uh, pedal assist on shorter distance if you're planning to ride longer distance with non-stop it might hit 34 35 should be easily with pedal assist um, the way it's um, set the crank set and all these settings you can go 35 most likely easily on pedal assist without sweat 
um, if you're looking for bike again for off-road I think it should be perfect uh, bike uh, for the price range and power it does have a nice speed and mostly will climb all the hills but I'm gonna take it off-road as well so you might want to subscribe and follow my channel so you can see how this bike will perform off-road and uh, the display it's very bright you can see it um, during the bright sun right now very bright and you can see everything very clear all the information enough space to attach the phone or any devices you want to attach like light actually the headlight is very bright so i don't think you need extra headlight to buy it's a pretty bright headlight as well with the tail light brake light so the bike is fully loaded the only things i would uh, upgrade would be the brakes if you're planning to go uh, on a higher speed ride but again this is a bicycle not motorcycle it's not uh, meant to only use the throttle and you can get a really decent dis i think uh, distance on this bike since the battery uh, it's very large uh, 17 amp battery 17 actually 17 and a half which should last um, for pretty long distance with pedal assist uh, if you look on many other bike uh, usually they come about 15 amp uh, with higher price than this bike and that's about it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video